Hello friends, in this session we will discuss about Masthenia Gravis. Masthenia Gravis is an autoimmune disease which induces serious muscle weakness and that's why it is known as Masthenia that is muscle weakness and Gravis means very serious. The person with Masthenia Gravis experiences muscle weakness in the different parts of body but this specially include the facial muscles. The reason for muscle weakness is the production of an autoantibody in the affected person's body which interferes with the normal process of muscle contraction. First let us see how normal muscle contraction occurs which is essential for our day-to-day -day activities. Motor neurons send the signal for muscle contraction. These motor neurons are distributed all over the body making contact with muscles which are present in the various part of body. The contact point of motor neuron and muscle is called as neuromuscular junction. This is the structure of neuromuscular junction. This is motor neuron. This is cell membrane of muscle cell. Motor neuron has such vesicles filled with neurotransmitter called as acetylcholine. When this motor neuron receives the signal, it releases acetylcholine molecules in the neuromuscular junction. Here, the acetylcholine molecules bind to acetylcholine receptors. In response to this binding, the muscle cells get contracted and we are able to carry out different functions like walking, talking, breathing and even it helps to keep open our eyelids. But in Masthenia Gravis, the patient's B cells produces antibodies against acetylcholine receptor, that is anti-acetylcholine receptor antibodies. Normally, the B cells don't produce antibodies against our own molecules, that is the self-antigens. But in this case, antibodies are produced against the self-molecules. Such conditions are called as autoimmune diseases. And Antibodies involved are called as autoantibodies. Once these antibodies are produced, they bind to their target, that is acetylcholine receptors. Now, once these antibodies are bound to the receptors, they will prevent acetylcholine molecules from binding to their receptor. Also, they carry out the complement mediated lysis of these receptors. And therefore, the number of receptors will decrease. Under such conditions, the muscle contraction will reduce and the person will feel difficulty to carry out different muscle contraction related processes. Many parts of body can be affected in Masthenia Gravis. But there are some common symptoms which are observed in every case. First is tosses, that is dropping of eyelid. And second is diplopia that is double vision. This happens due to weakening of ocular muscles. That is muscles those controls the movement of eye. In severe conditions, the masthenia gravis can affect the function of muscles those control breathing. Such life-threatening condition is known as masthenia crisis. Masthenia gravis can be treated in different ways. Person can be treated with acetylcholine esterase inhibitors, that is neostigmine and pyridostigmine. These inhibitors inhibit the enzyme acetylcholine esterase, that is the enzyme which clues the acetylcholine molecules. If this enzyme is inhibited, the number of acetylcholine molecules will increase and the chances of their binding to any unaffected receptor will increase. Person can be treated with immunosuppressants like prednisone. This inhibits the antibody production by B cells and blocks the basic cause of the disease, that is, anti acetylcholine receptor antibodies. The third kind of treatment is the surgical removal of thymus, that is, thymoctomy. Thymus is the site of T cell maturation, and T cells, especially the T helper cells, are required for activation of B cells to produce antibodies. If thymus is removed, there will not be any mature T cell in our body to activate B cells and therefore antibody production will stop. 
So this was all about Masthenia Gravis. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. This will help me to keep moving on and make such more videos. Thank you very much and have a good day.